We live in a video world, but the power of still photography cannot be ignored, especially in this time. And joining me now to talk a little bit about that is David Turnley. He's a Pulitzer Prize winning photojournalist and a documentarian, and he's also a professor at the University of Michigan. David, it's good to see you. Great to see you, Chrissy. Thank you. You've covered so many things around the world and so many iconic images as well. As you look at what's happening in this COVID-19 space that we're living in right now, what runs through your mind as a photojournalist? Well, the first thing is just, you know, I've spent my life really as a documentary photographer covering world events. Um, There really isn't a war uh, since the end of the Vietnam War that I haven't covered. And I think the first thing that I just have to say is that this is, while a different kind of war, this is really a world war. Um, The enemy is very elusive, but the impact, as we know, is just beyond anything that any of us of this time period, of any of our generations have have really experienced. Um, So the the fact that it has such a global impact and is so incredibly relevant in all of our lives, of course, is something that as documentary photographers we respond to. And you're teaching a class at the University of Michigan when everything changed for the students. Um, So you had to change as well. What did you tell them to start doing once they had to had to go home? Yeah, one of the realities of being a photojournalist is you're always having to think ahead. Um, So very quickly, I thought, oh my gosh, what an incredible opportunity they won't be able to go outside of their homes to photograph people that they may not know, but they have the opportunity to photograph themselves and their families. And I had 26 students from an incredible, diverse socioeconomic, geographical um, range across America send me 12 pictures a week for five weeks and document this memorable time of your lives. And I had 26 students who just really embraced this. And, um, and then I curated from that, um, 10 photographs from each of them to some amazing music um, that's really quite moving. And it's, an, it's a really unique opportunity to see families' lives in the midst of this pandemic across this country, the everyday lives. What did you find in some of these photos? And was there an intimacy there that was initially maybe difficult for some of these students to, to turn in on themselves and their own lives? It's interesting because they're sort of 18 to 25 years old and to use this period of their lives to actually, you know, step back and almost think to themselves, like, who are these people that happen to be my family and to, and to interact with them as they normally would, but to really try to see them. And as I was getting the photographs coming in, I was seeing this sort of look in the eye. So two things sort of happen that I've witnessed and people tend to sort of sit down they need to be grounded. So you sort of see a lot of that. You sort of see people close to the ground, sitting on chairs in couches. You see hugging of pets. Um, And then you start to see this look in the eye and it's a kind of a stare. It's a sort it's a stare we see all the time in war zones. And it is that sense of absolutely the unknown. They actually almost in a Buddhist sense started to embrace the opportunity rather than to sort of spend their time reflecting on the experience to actually experience it with their camera. And they started to do that. And you started to see all kinds of things going on um, from really sort of uh, reckoning with who their family members are, how they were going to spend their time, how people respond to this kind of adversity, um, because it's a whole range of emotions. Would you say that having this experience for them may have forever changed the kind of photojournalists or photographers that they wanted to be had you had never had this, I guess, disruption in in history, really? Oh, I absolutely think so. I mean, for all of us, I think it was one of those great moments where it was just the the coming together of the constellation, so to speak, um, to deploy this tool. with an understanding of how power it can be both to reflect an individual's experience, but to resonate universally for all of us. 